Yo, what's going on? It's Dark and Windy, also known as the Fakemon artist with way too much time on his hands and far too many Fakemon to count. Um, and a few of my designs that you may have or may not have already seen before include, but are not limited to, Horseradish, Goth Dinosaur, Pizza Slice, A Glass of Water, and most importantly of all, The Bathtub. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so the next Pokemon that I'm working on is actually one I've had brewing for about a month or so. I actually finished the pre-evolution last night, but I've always had a tough time in general with both of these because I wanted them to have more unique shapes compared to all my other bird Archomians, which is what I call my Pokemon. So trying not to be generic is kind of a it's kind of hard because in general you look at all the bird Pokemon out there and bird Pokemon. And a lot of them just have similar body shapes because that's just how nature works. <laughs> but, yeah, the, it just took a, a while for me to actually get a satisfactory design that I, that I really will be proud of, in a sense. Um, this evolution is based off of both a rhinoceros auklet and a whiskered auklet with an added inclusion of some influence from Olympic and professional divers. And whether or not the end result is too generic, <laughs> that's just up to you. So my process is pretty simple, but also kind of backwards. Now, as you can see, I already have a reference in the top right corner because what I sometimes like to do is go off the cuff, be kind of natural, and let design features come as they come. So uh, before I finally finalize them, I just constantly just keep on trying to see what design aspects fit and what won't. So here I adjusted the head shape a bit and decided to include a throw sack there so I can emulate both a free gate burr and also the oxygen tanks used by scuba divers. Now, I wanted the pose to seem a bit like he was like preparing to dive, so I just adjusted the feet a bit, made it seem like they were perked up a bit, and I went ahead and added the whiskers a bit, and then I started with the wings. So, and, and instead of going the typical route of one wing out, like majority of the po official Pokemon designs do, as well as Fakemon, <laughs> I decided to do it, have it doing like a praying hands diving gesture with the wings instead. And the marks on his body are simply meant to mimic swimsuits and the mass of Olympic divers. Now, something still fell off with the design, though, so I just adjusted the legs once more, like specifically the thigh area, in order to give them a bit more of a bounce and anticipation before I was finishing off the whiskers, and that was it. <laughs> and with all that said and done, you can finally meet Oxper, the diving Archomian. Now, using the ice key whiskers, it can freeze its prey. They enjoy freezing solid surfaces and sliding off of cliffs in order to practice their dives. They can be very competitive with each other, creating their own games to see who can reach the highest speed, dive the deepest, and even who can perform the most tricks while in midair. I really wanted to lean into more of the whole diving aspect of Ox, as well as just have a completely, you know, they were, they've been getting more unique with their uh, birds in Pokemon, with them not be always having to be flying type, or some of them being mono flying type, in Rookie's case. So, in this case, I just wanted to have uh, once again, even though Ox can fly, I decided to just go, nah, water and ice, that'll, that, that's, that'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, it, this is, this, yeah, this has been fun. Hope you enjoy and we'll see what goes on.